It has now been 10 days since four-year-old Cleo Smith vanished from the tent she was sharing with her mother, stepfather and baby sister at the Blowholes campsite north of Carnarvon in Western Australia. The Premier of Western Australia, Mark McGowan, announced a $1 million reward for information that leads to finding Cleo or the person or persons who may have abducted her. In recent updates, police have revealed that audio of Cleo's voice was recorded on a single CCTV camera at a beach shack situated just 20 metres from where she was staying. The recording was from the day before she vanished and ends speculation over whether or not Cleo was actually at the campsite. Detective Superintendent Rod Wilde said it was captured just after the family arrived. He said it's motion sensitive and it was by their vehicle. We've reviewed it and we believe it's Cleo's voice that can be heard. In a further disturbing update, police visited Cleo's home in Carnarvon for a forensic search of the front and rear of the house, following up on a theory that Cleo may have been watched in the days leading up to her disappearance. They said someone may even have visited the house on one, possibly two occasions, but detectives have since ruled out the theory. It has also been revealed that they are now searching for a driver and people who may have been in a vehicle that was seen leaving the campsite in the early hours of the Saturday morning that Cleo went missing. Cleo's mother last sighted her at 1.30am when Cleo asked for a drink of water. Superintendent Wilde said two people who were travelling together along the North West Coastal Highway in the early hours of Saturday, October 16, saw a car turn right off Blowholes Road between 3am and 3.30am. On Monday, forensic officers collected CCTV footage from a home on the Northwest Coastal Highway. It's understood the cameras captured a sedan leaving the area around the time Cleo was possibly taken. Superintendent Wild said in this rough dirt country where most people drive a four-wheel drive, sedans aren't common, especially around 3am. It is also believed that police have collected security video from buildings on the highway where a mystery vehicle was spotted during the hours it suspected Cleo was abducted. Days, hundreds of calls to crime stoppers and a million dollar reward. But finally, a breakthrough. Task Force Rodia closing in on a mystery car that may have been used in the abduction of Cleo Smith. But is it possible that Cleo was in the vehicle? I'm not going to speculate. Police say the car, described as a smaller passenger vehicle, was seen coming from the Blowholes campsite, turning off Blowholes Road and travelling south towards Carnarvon on the northwest coastal highway between 3 and 3.30 a.m. Saturday, an hour and a half after the four-year-old's parents last saw her in their tent. We just want to establish who they were and what they were doing at that time. The driver may not be a suspect, but the timing is suspicious. Cleo waking her mother for a drink at 1.30 a.m., then vanishing sometime after. And it's when campers reported hearing screeching tyres. Police say the car was spotted by two people travelling north along this highway. At that time it was dark. They couldn't work out his make or model or if Cleo was inside. Cleo's family have brought in local Aboriginal bush trackers to help find the four-year-old. The campground is located 75 kilometres from Carnarvon and 875 kilometres from Perth with nothing but bushland and scrubs in between. It's bordered by the ocean on one side and desolate, rugged terrain on the other. Bush trackers have historically assisted in baffling missing person cases. Most recently, the family of Miracle Boy, AJ Elphalak, who called in experienced tracker, Jake Kassar, to help find their three-year-old son. Mr Kasser told Daily Mail Australia the role of a tracker is to think outside of the box and consider all possibilities regarding a person's disappearance.
freelance bounty hunters have also arrived in the area, hoping for a bite at the million dollar reward. Asked if bounty hunters were a help or a hindrance to the investigation, Deputy Police Commissioner Cole Blanche said all help was welcome. Blanche said, we welcome anyone who can help find Cleo, but he added, I will ask that people not put themselves at danger or at risk by doing so. The news understands those looking to claim the reward were searching an area outside of Carnarvon today. Salt Lakes, Scrub, derelict buildings, abandoned mine shafts. Police say this region has a million hiding places, but the bounty hunters have a million reasons to check each and every one of them. Most people travelling to the region aren't after the money. They just want to help bring Cleo home. It's not about the money, it's about like the family. Good have to find her. There's a 100 strong task force of detectives investigating Cleo's suspicious disappearance. More eyes, more boots, but still no Cleo.